Hey guys, this is gonna be exciting. I'm going to pick up a 1987-ish, I think. Compact 286, I think it's AT compatible. It might have a couple issues, mainly with the keyboard. We're gonna pick it up right now. Okay, I'm really excited. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm here at my local town library where I'm gonna be picking up this old compact computer. I think it's an old Desk Pro. Um, it might have a keyboard issue, like I said earlier, but I'm pretty excited either way. If I just need to get a new keyboard, then that's just fine. I could, I could do that. So I'll be back with you when we're actually getting the computer. <laughs> It's a Compact Desk Pro 286 with a Microsoft mouse and a keyboard with a very frayed cable, but you couldn't find the port for it. That was why, and it does fit in, so maybe I'll be able to get it to work. It needs a little bit of cleanup, but nothing I can't handle. So yeah, can't wait to get this thing home. 640K of RAM, I was told, and a VGA card. So yeah, it's going to be crazy. Okay, here it is. It's a Compact Desk Pro 286. Here's the uh, DIN keyboard connector. We have the key lock, which I do not have the key for. So it's unlocked, so that's fine. Uh, what I think is a tape cassette, which is kind of cool. And then I have this uh, floppy, di uh, five and a quarter inch floppy drive. And I think this is the hard drive right in there. So if we look at the top of this thing, it is kind of dirty, but I can clean this up. It's definitely dusty. On the back we have serial, parallel, a weird connector, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, apparently it's a compact monitor power interface. Okay, so that's for if you had a special compact monitor. Uh, I think there's the power supply in here, which is what let out the magic smoke, I think. And then in here we have some dip switches and a, a VGA port, which is where the VGA card goes. So this is really cool. <laughs> it has eight expansion slots. Uh, let's look at our accessories. We have, uh, hi Vivi. This is Vivi. He's one of our two cats. The other one is Stella. Stella is uh, not here right now. So we have a very sad keyboard connector and keyboard. We have a Microsoft mouse, serial. Let's hook all this stuff up. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Check out the manual. I also have its original manual. You can see the disc protector s sleeve that you put in the floppy drives when moving it. But I'm just going to turn to the page about um, transporting the computer because this is pretty funny. So check this out. We open up the page, you can see it talks a lot about saving your files and removing the startup diskette from the drive and also powering down the computer and protecting the diskette drive heads by putting the um, diskette protector in there. This is also retro and cool. I love this. Let's get it set up. Okay, so I have kind of a crazy setup right now. I have this giant Dell monitor on top of the compact. It really doesn't match, but for now it's the best I got. Everything I need should be plugged in, keyboard, plugged into the DIN socket. Uh, there's Stella, and there's Vivi. I have monitor plugged in, this thing does have a VGA card. And I have power, except the power isn't plugged in yet. Just about to do that. Right down in here. Alright, three, two, one. The computer has power. Not really doing anything. Now I'm going to turn on the power supply. Oh, my monitor. Oh no, my monitor doesn't have power. Okay, off, off, off. <laughs> well, that was a fail. Okay, the monitor is plugged in. Desk Pro is plugged in. First startup test. Do we have signal? Yes, we do. 
any second now we should see 640. Yes! Okay. It's outputting. 640 kilobytes, okay. Oh, there's the floppy. There's the floppy. Is it going to boot from hard drive? Will it boot from hard drive? Oh my god. Oh, disk, z disk zero failure. Aha. Zoom F1 key. Do we have keyboard? Disk zero failure might be the hard drive dead. Can we get it to boot from DOS? Hang on. The hard drive light is on. Hang on a second. Let me insert this uh, boot disk. Keyboard working? Yes, it is. The caps lock light came on when I put caps lock, so it is working. I think that we need to uh, restart. So I'm just going to do the RAM test again. Oh my goodness, this is all so crazy. It's working, at least to a degree. The hard drive, the floppy disk drive just uh, went to life. I have to plug in my phone, my battery's low. Will it boot from floppy or is it going to give the same error? Disk zero failure, zoom F1 key. Oh, that, that time it worked. Oh, it's reading. It's trying to read. Okay, it's trying to read. <gasps> oh! I'm guessing C is a no-go. Invalid drive specification, okay. Uh, let's try directory command. Keyboard's a little finicky. Yeah, let's go. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's working. It works. Oh. It works, it works, okay. Uh oh. Alright. Okay. So I've cleaned the computer off. It looks pretty nice now. At least I've cleaned it off, except where the monitor's sitting on it. <laughs> And so yeah, the hard disk appears to be dead. The floppy drive works. Haven't tested the tape backup drive. Um, around back, let's just go over a demo of everything. So, if I just turn it on, it will start to do the RAM check where it will find a total of 640 kilobytes. The hard drive war, the, the floppy drive war is up. I also cleaned up the keyboard at least a little bit. Still a little bit dirty. This cable is just falling apart. It's not in good shape, the hard, the cable for the uh, keyboard. So, and then it'll have a disk zero error, which means that this hard drive is dead. So then I will just put in the MS-DOS boot disk, which is also pretty dirty, but clean compared to the other ones. So I'll 
just put that into the drive. And then F1 key it. It will read. And then this beastly 286 will boot to DOS. Month, month, date, date, year, year. So it is six. I forgot, uh, I have to do 006. Either way, pretty soon it will boot to DOS. B drive has no disk. Bad commander file name, oops. The shift keys are both very wonky. Oh, wait, what? DIR. Directory. Insert diskette. That's. B drive is the stick drive. So, push the key. Oh. Directory of, all of B. Oh, I think it's just the same as the A drive. <laughs> Either way, um, let me insert a cool little disk here. It is MS DOS operating two out of two in this very dirty drive pamphlet. Let me switch back to the A drive. There we go. Now I'll put in this very dirty floppy. to the directory. This keyboard is not very good. Insert diskette. There we go. You can see, look, basic. This computer, I have basic for. And that is Compact Computer Basic. And I could do the obligatory 10 print. Wrong. Looping program 20 go to. 10, run, and there we go, just a looping program, and then, uh, can't, oh no, I cannot break it, because I can't reach the break key, oh yeah, I can use the right control, I'm still <laughs> there we go, so yes, it works more or less, besides the hard drive, although it does light up. So yep, that is the Compact Desk Pro 286. Not exactly sure what year this is, but <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. As you can see, I have my water here, my spray bottle, because I was cleaning it up. This gets everywhere. It's it's crazy. My setup is changing all around. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video on the electrical outlet. It's really exciting. My whole setup is moving around. My compact's over there now. Um, check back next time where we will be cleaning up the keyboard. Which I've already done, but this video is getting pretty long. So I think I should just end up splitting it into two parts. It would be a lot better that way. So I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed this video. And hope now that I have sort of a retro video and a more modern video up on my channel, you'll see, you'll have a little more of a better idea about what you'll see on this channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, be sure to comment, like this video, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.